Hey there, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. All right, so here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a five-tool play. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list. That includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC's lightweight division and has the frame to compete up. And he showed that before he was a featherweight. So a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC's career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. McGregor is one year his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Introducing the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the no We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go, round one. Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, first meeting was back at UFC 178 in September of 2014. It lasted less than two minutes. Since your guy Poirier has won nine fights, the UFC Interim Lightweight Championship, all he wants, though, is to get another crack at the notorious Conor McGregor. To win over Conor McGregor can be life-changing. We saw what it did for Habib Nurmagomedov. Dustin Poirier wants that and feels 
as though he deserves that hard work and commitment. You have seen him go on a run after going up to 155. That has been unmatched by many. Nice punch by Poirier. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he got hold of the target very quickly. Just unable to quite find that range. A head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Got the single collar tie. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Great punch. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, he heard a bad with a jab. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Not there. Straight punch land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a body kick. Right on the button. Just missed with the left there. Right hand upstairs. Big kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinic. Nice body kick right under the over. Two minutes remain in the round. Certainly found the target. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punch over the top. So there, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, in terms of Conor McGregor's frame at lightweight or at featherweight, he really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it. He's defended it before it's even gotten started. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Oh, nice jab up top by Connor. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. 45 seconds remain in the round. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Poirier. 30 seconds remain in the round. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Hands high, hands Big. Oh, right I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Absolutely bludgeon. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last How about those five minutes? All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? 
Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Look at him working at trying to shut him down. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? with that punch attempt. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Seventy-two total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against... Oh. Oh. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great... Oh! What a All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good work from the top here by Poirier. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championship. Oh! Good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw him coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with dial points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. And 
Certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by knock. He's just a...